Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to be doing a Lidl and Aldi haul. Since I went to Lidl and I only needed a couple things and then um, like a week ago I went to Aldi and I just got a couple like seasonal things. So I'm just going to combine these videos. So I'm going to do all the Lidl stuff first and then the Aldi stuff. So the first thing that I got was... Um, this Parmesan cheese, shredded cheese, and I just <laughs> remembered that I left my receipt in the car, so sorry, I'm not going to give you any prices on these. Um, yeah, I was wearing like my polar fleece, and because it said it was going to be like 50 degrees outside, then it got way too hot in the store, and then I put the receipt in my pocket, and then I like threw my jacket off in the car, so, I was, so the receipt's in the car. But anyways, so I got this Parmesan cheese. Um, shredded and this is for carbonara or just spaghetti <laughs> of course I drop it but anyways I got this um, they also had like grated Parmesan cheese too just kind of I put everything in one bag so just it's gonna be whatever is in the bag next the next thing I got was this dental floss um, they had wide and then they had narrow. So the narrow one was for tight spots and then the wide one is, um, it cleans, it expands to clean the gums. So I got this one. I'm always like losing the floss that the dentist gives you. So I just thought I would just get this. If anyone's tried this, let me know down below in the comments if you liked it. I have never seen this before. I got two things of diced yellow onion. As you know, this is like my third time buying it. I'm a real fan of this. So I know these are $1.99. And that's eight ounces. So this is either one small or medium sized onion um, for each container. So I needed one medium. I'm going to make that beef stroganoff again. It was really, really good in my Instant Pot. Um, so I needed this. And then I'm going to make a turkey meatball soup in my Instant Pot, and you needed another 8 ounces of yellow diced onion. But as you'll see later, I, I went to Trader Joe's, and they had, like, the mirepoi um, already chopped up. So I think I'm just going to save this to make, like, fried rice or something, since I turn, it turns out I don't need this for the soup. So I got those. By the way, it was super, super, super crowded, and people were, like, really rude and, like staying in aisles forever and I just was like Ugh. and then I left like really quickly I was in there for like 15 20 minutes because I was like I'm not doing this and everyone had their kids too and the kids were like running around and it was like insane so also got these mushrooms I've um, hauled these before when I made the beef stroganoff last time eight ounces um they were having a sale on like most of their mushrooms but I made sure not to get the ones that were on sale because the Ones that were on sale were 30% off, and these rang up $1.69, so 30% off of that is, like, ridiculous. Um, but they expired the 27th, and today's the 25th, and I didn't know if I was going to make the beef stroganoff in, like, within two days, so I was like, I'm not getting mushrooms that, like, expire um, in two days. And these are, by, these are um, good until the 31st. So, yeah. I got the cream of mushroom soup for the beef stroganoff. Funny story is I went to go put my cart back and then I was like, I forgot to get the soup. So then I went inside and got the soup again. Um, and this was 50 cents. I know this was 50 cents because it was the only thing I bought when I went back inside. So this is good. They also have like a, a heart conscious one with like lower sodium, but I didn't get that. And that one has like a green stripe on top. Okay, um, we were running out of Jet Dry um, Rinse Aids, so I thought I'd give this a try. Um, it's a small bottle. It's Lidl brand. Uh, I've never tried it before. Um, but I think it was like $275, $375, around that price. Um, the next thing I got was some dishwasher cleaner. We got this powder that you like pour on the bottom of your dishwasher. Oh, by the way, it comes with two. Um, you get some, we got some powder and it didn't really help. Like the problem with our, di like not problem, but like sometimes it gets stinky. So I wanted something for that. And this says that, um, 
it eliminates unpleasant dishwasher odor and it cleans even hard to reach places so I wanted to try this it is a liquid um I was just trying to read it oh this is interesting it says Place bottle upside down inside the silverware basket. Close dishwasher and run machine on hottest cycle. Do not use with any dishwasher detergent. So you're gonna use the whole entire bottle for the for to to dishwash to clean your dishwasher. That's interesting. So I'm gonna try this out. Let me know if you've tried this. Um I got some chicken broth. It called for chicken broth, low sodium chicken broth for that turkey meatball soup um but I was thinking like my friend over at sweet simple life she's vegan so I was thinking that she could probably make the recipe with the vegan meatballs and then like vegetable broth um I'm gonna send her the recipe and let um let's I'll bleh, and let and see what she says but I thought it was like easily adaptable because all the rest is like tomatoes and vegetables and like all that so like this and the actual meatballs. Uh, sorry, I live near an airport, so you'll hear the plane flying over my house. <laughs> um, so, um, or maybe you won't hear it in the video, but I heard it and it was pretty, pretty loud. So I was thinking it could be easily like turned vegetarian or uh, vegan. So, cause there's no cream in it. Um, so yeah, I will post both of the recipes, like the stroganoff and the soup recipes down below in this video. And I know I say I'll post them because, um, and then you probably don't see them, is because what I do is I upload this from my phone, and then, um, like, later I'll edit the description and the little cover photo thing on my computer. Since I have the YouTube app and upload from my phone, it's, like, the easiest thing to do. Um, I usually do that, and then I just edit it later. So, if you are looking for the recipe and it's not there... Um, just be patient. I'll put it in there later when I edit this video. Well, I won't edit this video, but I usually don't edit my videos. They're, they're usually like live-ish and then I just post them. So anyways, I got this for the soup. I am a fan of the broth. I also got this ground beef. Um, I was a fan of this last time. Really good quality meat at Lidl. Really, really good quality meat. This tasted really, really, really fresh, and, like, it was really good. It's really qu high quality. I recommend this. And this expires April 2nd. So, yeah. Um, I got this pastaroni, garlic, and olive oil vermicelli. So there's no cream in it, no, like, milk or anything. Well, there is non-fat milk, but like, it's not like a milk sauce is what I'm trying to say. It's more like a garlic and olive oil. So I forgot to tell you the purpose of me going out. Um, my husband is getting the vaccine on Saturday. Today's Thursday. Um, and we're really excited. We've been waiting for over a month. Um, we signed up right when our county was available for us to sign up. And, um... My husband does go to work every day. Uh, he he does work in technology, but he um, has to go to work every day because of um, the security level of his job. Um, and we were really hoping that he was going to get the vaccine soon. And um, as you know, like I'm not a teacher anymore, so I was not eligible for the the one the phase one B. For educators, the one year I'm not a teacher, right? In like eight years. Um, my luck. But um, he's getting his vaccine, his vaccine on Saturday. And he keeps on saying, like, I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be fine. But like all of my like teacher friends, like they say they're like really tired. They're, they, they feel sore and achy for like two, three days. Like after they get the shot. Um, so I'm anticipating him not feeling well enough to like cook with me or like you know um and he, he probably will want like you know easy to eat stuff so that's why we're gonna make this with some like bread um that beef stroganoff is like easy enough to throw in the instapot and then I'm gonna try that soup with the meatballs um 
and like he got his appointment like email on Saturday like last Saturday and um he he scheduled it for this coming Saturday the 27th and then he was he was sad because he wanted me to get the vaccine um instead of him which is like really like started to make me tear up because like that's how selfless selfless he is um and like I went into my profile and I know like every state and every county's um vaccine system is different but for me um basically it's a really long survey and then you check like um I've had cancer I've I have asthma I have this I have that like there's like a whole list of things and then I was like hearing that if you had moderate to severe asthma that you could that you would be put on 1b and 1b is right now and I was kind of like confused why um like I haven't gotten my appointment yet because I'm technically in 1b and also if you don't know if you're new to my channel um I have I have moderate to, to severe asthma and I'm also um, diabetic, but I'm not in the traditional sense of, of diabetic. I just have like hypoglycemic episodes. So basically like if I like overwork myself, if I don't drink enough water and get dehydrated, um, then I will have severe low, sh like, low sugar episodes, which is hypoglycemic. Um, hyperglycemic is when you have high blood sugar. Um, so... I checked that I had um, diabetes and asthma in my profile, but then when I went to go check, like I was like, hmm, I'm wondering why I'm not getting my appointment. I went in my profile and nothing was checked. And I was like, uh, what? <laughs> so I checked it again and literally the next day I got my vaccine appointment. I was like, what? Um, so my vaccine appointment is April 1st, which is next Thursday. So me and my husband are getting vaccines very kind of close together. He was hoping that we would get them on the same day, but we didn't. Um, they gave me available days of April 1st, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, which was like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, but since I'm pretty much working from home most days, um, my husband was like, just get the April 31st one and get the first available day. And... um. We're really lucky that we have like kind of like a really open mall. So they've they've um like transformed one of like the stores in the mall that's cl since closed now. I think it's the Sears. I'm not sure. Um that's a vaccine center now, so they can like really efficiently like put out a bunch of vaccines and I think that's why like we got our vaccine appointments like now I, a lot of people are getting their vaccine appointments right now and um my dad got vaccined um on tuesday like this tuesday which is great um my dad's in the technology field as well but he can work from home um my grandparents that live here because um if you've seen my previous videos my i have a set of grandparents that live here and a set of grandparents that live in florida the set of grandparents that live here they got their second dose on february 27th um, but my grandpa is a veteran, so he did get priority, um, with the VA, so he was one of, like, the first people to get the vaccine, which was great. Um, so I'm happy that, um, my family is slowly getting vaccinated, and that makes me really happy for, like, the holiday season this year. Maybe we can be together for a holiday season, um, in December. I'm not talking about, like, Easter. Um, and my, my sister's husband got vaccinated, too, so... I'm getting, I'm getting like nervously excited. I am nervous about my vaccine because, um, I have a sulfur allergy as well. Um, and there is no sulfur in, in the vaccine, but, um, I did call my doctor and asked if it was fine for me to get the vaccine. Um, and I did like a lot of Q and A with her. Like I told her like, I'll, I have all this stuff and like, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I want to know, like, is it fine for me to get it? And she was like, yeah, you can get it. Um, but you should try to get Pfizer because you might have an allergic reaction to Moderna. And I learned that if you go to the mall, which my appointment's at the mall, um, basically they have Pfizer and Moderna and Johnson and Johnson. But I know I'm not getting Johnson and Johnson because it said it was my first dose out of two. Um, and they just point you to a table and like, it's whatever that table has. So it's going to be like a roulette if I get Moderna. Um, I don't know if I want to be like high maintenance and be like, no, I don't want Moderna, but because <laughs> it's a vaccine and you want the vaccine and you want to be protected, but 
I, I really don't want the risk of possibly getting an allergic reaction. And she just said to, um, like, take a, take Benadryl with you, like a couple, like a pill or two of Benadryl, like in your pocket or something. And you can take it if you feel bad. And I was like, I just got over allergic reaction. I don't want to have another one. Um, so, but that was to food. Um, but anyways, that's the reason why I went to Lidl. Sorry for the, um, vent it's not really a vent but just like more information um hopefully you learned something about me um and hopefully you're not bored and you didn't turn this off but anyways um i just have a couple more things for Lidl that i'll show you and then i'll show you my aldi stuff so anyways that's why we're getting like the light to eat items because we're getting our vaccines very close together um i also got this vegetable oil um i only use vegetable oil for fried rice stir fry and like asian food um but we're almost out we have like a teaspoon left so I picked this up I knew this was two dollars and 88 cents because I thought that was a good price I also got this peach tea so it's peach tea made with cane sugar I was really thirsty um but I haven't tried it yet obviously so brewed tea water black tea cane sugar peach flavor citric acid and caramel color so I thought those were pretty good ingredients I think that was a dollar I think that was a dollar um I got these in my previous haul and my husband forgets to eat lunch. So I threw like a couple of these in his work bag and I was like, if you don't eat lunch, eat one of these. And he said they were really good. He said that they were really good and they didn't taste like chalky or anything. So I picked up another box of these. I knew these were $5.29 because I thought that was a little bit expensive for six bars. But if he's going to eat this instead of lunch, I think that's kind of like a good alternative. Oh, they're, they're compared to Cliff Builders. I've never had those, but I know of them. So I got those. And then I got him one of these Cafe Bustelo. So um, it's Cafe con Leche. And it does have milk in it. And uh, he is learning that he's kind of turning lactose intolerant. He's on the oat milk kick with me. Um, It does have coffee and milk in it. But I thought it would just be kind of like a treat. Like maybe you could have it on weekend. Um, We used to have this great Cuban place by our house that has since closed. And he used to get cafe con leche there and he was like, it always tastes like home. And um, my husband's Cuban and I just thought this would be like a little bit of treat. Yesterday was our wedding anniversary. So um, I thought maybe this could be just like a little bit of a treat. And <laughs> sorry for my Spanish. Um, cool fun fact is I, I speak Castilian Spanish. So I have a lisp when I talk and I'm really self-conscious about it. But that's how I learned Spanish. I did not learn Spanish from my husband. I, I used to fluently speak Spanish um, in college. In college, I could write, read, and speak Spanish fluently. And then I became uh, English as a second language teacher after college. And then I practiced my Spanish. And then that was when I met my husband was when I was the ESL teacher. And then, um, like, I haven't practiced and I'm pretty bad. But my husband tries to, like, speak with me in Spanish sometimes. And then I'll respond. But I will respond in English. I try to be like, what time is it? Like, where are we going? What do you need? Like in Spanish, I try to do that. And um, so I'm trying to, I'm trying to practice. I'm trying. Um, we were supposed to go to Cozumel in um, January, January 2020. Yeah, January, no, February 2020. So February 2020, we were supposed to go on a Cozumel cruise for our wedding anniversary in, in March, but um, as you know, all the cruises were, were closed, and that's why I was practicing my Spanish, because I wanted to be able to kind of speak Spanish again in Mexico, but we didn't go, but I'm still trying to, I'm still trying to practice, <laughs> um, but I'm really self-conscious about my Spanish, because um, I speak with a lisp, and none of his family speaks that type of Spanish, um, so <laughs> it's, um, it, I stick out, so um, anyways, I got this tomato sauce looked good had chunks of basil in it so um i have never tried this but it had good ingredients so try that um i needed diced tomatoes um a 28 ounce can for that meatball soup so i got that but i got that last time and i liked it and i have two more things so I got some Advil liquid gels minis. I got the minis like one time by accident in a Target pickup. And now I don't like regular Advil because I have like a hard time swallowing pills. And these are great. I really like these. So these are going to be just for me. 
Um, my husband can swallow pills, no problem. So I, I picked these up. I don't know how much they were because like they had bigger packs that were like five twenty nine, and I was like, this better not be five twenty nine. But I don't know how much it was because I don't have my receipt. Um, and then the last thing I got, I hauled this before, so it's cookie dough, and I gave this to my husband previously um, as a work snack, and he said he ate it, and he was like, it has coconut sugar in it, and he hates coconut like a lot, and he was like, it was just like a hint of coconut, it wasn't like that bad, but I don't want it again, but I never got to try it, so. Um, I wanted to try it. So that is all I got from Lidl. Um, I'm going to be moving on to my Aldi stuff and I will try to not talk too much, but yeah, I didn't get that much stuff at Aldi. Okay. So the first thing I got were these vanilla and cocoa wafer eggs. They're plain and dark chocolate coated. A mix of uncoated and dark chocolate coated crispy wafers with a creamy cocoa and vanilla flavored filling. Made in Germany. So I thought these were cool. Also, I don't know I don't know how much this stuff costs because I don't have my receipt anymore. <laughs> um, I got these Reese's peanut butter flavored cupcakes, individually wrapped cupcakes. Um, my husband loves Reese's, it's his favorite candy. Um, and they're chocolate cupcakes with peanut butter flavored icing filling made with Reese's peanut butter. So I thought these could be like a snack for work, a treat. I just thought these were cool. Um, also got these carrot cake cream filled cookies. We always like to try the new Oreos and I thought, since they're not like, they're not really the real Oreos, but I thought these looked cool. Um, we'll see how these taste. Actually, I'm just gonna taste them. Why not? cheese frosting and like the spice yeah, they're all right okay the next thing I got sorry the next thing I got were these spaghettios this is like my guilty pleasure they also have plain ones um but I like the meatball ones I was surprised Aldi had these this is name brand so I just got this for a quick lunch for me. I also had these laundry bags, which is cool. These are really hard to find. You can basically only get them on Amazon. So I got these two pack of laundry bags, and I know these were $2.99. So you get these two. So it's a medium and a, or a large and a small. I'm sorry I'm getting shadowing. I have every single light on. I don't know what's up. And then I got two packs of bra bags, which I've been trying to find these because my old laundry bags got like eaten by mice at my old house. And I got new ones, but it didn't come with the bra bags and I've been wanting these. Plus I wanted to, I wanted to see if like masks, I could put a bunch of masks in here too. So it protects the natural shape of a bra. They come with two. I just have one more item. I know this is like the smallest Aldi haul I've ever had. Which is why I haven't done a video. So I got these from for my parents one time and they said they were really great. So I finally found them again for myself because now I wear glasses because last time I didn't. <laughs> That's how long it was. I've been wearing glasses for two years now. Um, have astigmatism, which was wonderful to find out because I was having killer headaches every single day. And then um, my husband was like, why don't you go to the eye doctor? And then I was like, okay. Okay, and then I went and then they were like, yeah, you have a pretty bad astigmatism. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's great. And I was like, I don't have a, I don't have a, a sight problem. It just takes me longer for, for me to see the signs. And then my doctor was like, that, that, that's a problem. She didn't say that, but she was just like, so you might need glasses. Um, I only need them for far away, but because um, I have, t I have 2020 up close. I can see everything up close. I can technically look at my phone with no glasses. Um, but the astigmatism is what makes me have to wear my glasses all the time because my eyes move back and forth very quickly, which makes me a really good reader. Um, I was an English teacher and I could read very quickly 
Um, but it that's what was causing my headaches was my eyes moving very quickly. And um, so in order for me to, for my eyes not to move so much, I have to wear glasses. So I thought these were great. So I haven't seen these in two years. That's what I was trying to tell you is I haven't seen these in two years, like before I got glasses. So I picked these up, 100 wipes. I think these are $3.99, I'm not sure. But um, you can also use them on um, electronics too. Cleans and repels dust, oil, smudges, and fingerprints. So I thought I'd get this for my iPad too. Since I have, um, I got a brand new iPad for Christmas from my wonderful husband. Um, we use it for cooking. We put recipes up and we use it for cooking. And uh, sometimes we like, well, I have a screen protector on it, but sometimes we get oil or whatever on it. And I just wanted to get these for that too. Um, yeah. I don't think they're antibacterial. I have some antibacterial ones um, that are for technology, but they're from the dollar store and they kind of dried out. But anyways, that is my Lidl and Aldi haul. Sorry for the venting or ranting or whatever. Um, hopefully you enjoyed learning more about me. Um, if you liked something in this video, feel free to give me a comment below or a like. And I would greatly appreciate if you could subscribe to my channel before you left. I hope you have a wonderful day and stay safe. Thank you. Bye.